House Leader Nancy Pelosi has decided to back off impeaching President Trump. This is not sitting well with other far-left members of Congress including AUK, Rashida Tlaib and Kamala Harris who want to move forward with impeachment proceedings. Monday night, appearing on Hannity, Lindsey Graham warned that Trump should expect the Democrats to move forward with impeachment. Lindsey Graham, the idea that the Mueller report is not the final word on all things Trump, Russia, collusion, obstruction is news to me. I thought we all trusted Mueller, there's going to be a stampede to impeach President Trump, they're going to use the Mueller report, anything they can find, to try to destroy his presidency, I expect that there will be impeachment proceedings against President Trump. Fox News reported that, leaders of the House Democrats backed off the idea of immediately launching impeachment proceedings against President Trump in an urgent conference call Monday evening amid a growing rift among the party's rank and file members presidential contenders and committee chairs on the contentious issue. Fox News is told by two senior sources on a private conference call that even House Financial Services Committee Chair Maxine Waters, an anti-Trump firebrand, told fellow Democrats that while she personally favored going forward with impeachment proceedings, she was not pushing for other members to join her. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi Democrat California, and her leadership team were clear there were no immediate plans to move forward with impeachment, Fox News is also told. Well-placed sources said it was a spirited 87-minute call involving more than 170 Democrat members, including House Intelligence Committee Chair Adam Schiff and House Oversight Committee Chair Elijah Cummings. Watch the video, watch the latest video at foxnews.com from Daily Wire The top two Democrats in the House, Speaker Nancy Pelosi, DCA, and House Majority Leader Steny Hoyer, DMD, have called a timeout on impeaching President Donald Trump, crushing the dreams of thousands of progressive activists and many of their House colleagues. Pelosi announced the decision to forego instituting impeachment proceedings on a call with House leaders Tuesday morning telling 170 Democratic members of Congress on an insane, 90-minute conference call, that the House will instead focus on investigating the President and let the American people decide what to believe in November of 2020. Fox News reports that Pelosi told her colleagues that we have to save our democracy. This isn't about Democrats or Republicans. It's about saving our democracy. If it is what we need to do to honor our responsibility to the Constitution, if that's the place the facts take us, that's the place we have to go," she added, before claiming that the facts simply don't point to removing the president from office quite yet, but that further investigation could lead there. We don't have to go to articles of impeachment to obtain the facts the presentation of facts. In a letter released ahead of the call, Pelosi got into greater detail. While our views range from proceeding to investigate the findings of the Mueller report or proceeding directly to impeachment, we all firmly agree that we should proceed down a path of finding the truth," Pelosi wrote to Democratic members. It is also important to know that the facts regarding holding the president accountable can be gained outside of impeachment hearings. Whether currently indictable or not, she added, it is clear that the president has, at a minimum, engaged in highly unethical and unscrupulous behavior which does not bring honor to the office he holds. In other words, Pelosi plans on spending the next 18 months directing multiple investigations into Trump his finances, his businesses, and his White House, in the hopes that the public impact of such probes will seriously injure the president, giving Democrats an advantage in the 2020 election. That's less of a political move than a strategic one. All along, Democrats have assumed, rightfully, that President Trump would likely benefit from impeachment proceedings in the House particularly if he could use those proceedings to justify his claims of a witch hunt, and substantiate his supporters' fear that Democrats are simply out to get Trump installed on any real policy initiatives, 
they would much rather make the election a referendum on Trump than give Trump the opportunity to present his defense. Hoyer made a similar point to CNN's Dana Bash Tuesday morning. Based on what we have seen to date, Hoyer said, going forward on impeachment is not worthwhile at this point. Very frankly, there is an election in 18 months and the American people will make a judgment. For Democrats, it's likely the right, most politically expedient choice, but that doesn't mean progressive activists and fellow Dems weren't left utterly bereft, on a sea of sadness, at the thought of foregoing their chance to impeach the president simply to earn the upper hand in an upcoming election. Former Obama administration speechwriter, John Favreau this is unbelievably disappointing. Even if you don't ultimately pursue impeachment proceedings, why on earth would you say this today? Part of the American people making a judgment in 2020 requires a full account of the president's criminality and abusive power. https colon slash slash db 634 jaw 2FQ, John Favreau, and Joan Favs. April 18, 2019 The Steny Hoyer quote is just unreal. Chris Hayes, at Crystal Hayes, April 18, 2019 What about the election that happened six months ago when people voted for Democrats on the promise they would hold Trump accountable? https colon slash slash t.co slash sll7sg6v3w, Judd Legum, at Judd Legum. April 18, 2019 Unbelievable Cowardice HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash Nyogv 6 c David Roberts, at Dravox, April 18, 2019 So now political leaders get to break whatever laws they want in order to boost their power and it's all good BC if the voters get mad they can vote against them afterwards. If only there were hundreds of years of historical precedent on what happens right after that. HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash LPJM key 9 LSL, Hunter, at Hunter DK, April 18, 2019 Hard Disagree. HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash R66 IOMHMV, Niratandan, at Niratandan, April 18, 2019 Loading. Let's block ads. Why?